My parents are visiting this week from the States, obviously. <laughs> and I'm gonna spend the week with them, go around to different places. They've been here before, so not doing like all the super touristy attractions. But today we're heading to Camden Market. I met up with my parents and their friends at Camden Market. I personally like the food at the market the best. <laughs> yes, just there for the food. <laughs> I was telling my mom about this curry stand there, and of course, we both got some. I believe it's called Curry and No Worries. You would have seen it in my other video. I got the chicken curry, and she got the lamb and potato one, and my dad got a burger from a different stand. Afterwards, we took the tube to Borough Market, and because it was the end of the day and it was a weekday, there wasn't as much there as there has been in the past, but I'm still glad my parents got to see it. We then walked across the London Bridge and found ourselves stopping at stopping into Italy, where I made note that we have to try the gelato there at some point. Going to Harrods now. The next day, I met them at Harrods. My parents and I explored the food section, which seems to be a common theme throughout all of my videos, just exploring various food places in London. The chocolate section all had their Easter sweets out, which I loved looking at. Afterwards, we stopped at Laylee, which I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's a cute cafe in Mayfair that opened not too long ago. We then met back up with my parents' friends at Slug and Lettuce. Hey, so I realize I haven't explained much um, these past few days, which have been super busy. So I haven't explained much about what's been going on these past few days. My parents are here visiting, which is super exciting. They came with friends. So what did I do? Oh my gosh, first day, I didn't record that, but I met up with them in the evening and we had dinner. Uh, the next day was Tuesday. We went to Camden Market, walked around there and had lunch. Um, I love the curry from that place, so that was good. My mom enjoyed that too. Then afterwards, we went to a Borough Market. Though Borough Market, like, cause I guess because it was during the week and it was closer to the end of the day, they didn't have many things out. There also weren't as many vendors, so that was a little bit disappointing, but at least they got to see it. And we also, we walked across London Bridge and then got a view of the Tower Bridge, which was very nice. Afterwards, we ended up walking from there to Shoreditch, went to a pub, and then went home. Next day, which was yesterday, it was raining, so that was kind of annoying. I met them at Harrods, then we headed to, where did we go? We went to, oh, Laylee, which is this restaurant I've been wanting to try, though I already had lunch before, so I didn't get anything and then they ran out of the cake that I wanted but whatever I'll go back another time but they said the food was really good and afterwards we went to Slug and Lettuce in Chinatown and met up with my parents friends and sat there for a while and today it's nice and sunny again which is wonderful and it's gonna be a bit warmer hopefully and my parents and I are heading to Notting Hill and we're gonna go to Farm Girl Cafe, which I've been dying to try. I've been following them on Instagram forever and I haven't tried their food yet. So today's the day, very exciting, exciting day. <laughs> Afterwards, gonna walk around Portobello Market. I'm hoping that there's stuff there. Last time I went, there really wasn't anything there. I think we'll go to Marylebone and Covent Garden. So I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna try to be better at recording and speaking. All right, I gotta go. I also forgot to mention that today is St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully we'll go to a pub later. I don't know what the celebration scene is like here. I know that there was a parade over the weekend for St. Patrick's Day. So there must be something going on today. So. and I 
went to Notting Hill and we walked to a farm girl cafe which was a very exciting as I have been wanting to try the food there for quite a while. I got the fish tacos and they were delicious. My mom got a chicken sandwich and my dad got a chicken bowl. Absolutely love this area here. And then we got the bus to Marylebone, went into Majuri, and then walked to Carnaby Street. Oh, and here's me now showing that I was the first person on the bus and I had the upstairs to myself. <laughs> Good morning everyone! Today we're heading to Oxford for the day, a little day trip away from the city and I haven't been there yet so I'm very excited. I think I might be going with my friends again in April but then I'll get a sense of what we can do. I'm excited. It's been very sunny in these past few days and a bit warmer. Saturday we all took a trip to Oxford. We took the train from Marylebone Station and we didn't really have a plan or anything set that we wanted to see and so we kind of just winged it which i have to say i really enjoy we walked around admired the architecture and listened to a street performer band <laughs> into a chocolate shop and my parents friends got us each a chocolate a dark chocolate orange truffle We then decided to check out the Oxford Cover Market, which had some flower shops, cafes, and bakeries. libraries and then grabbed a quick lunch at Paul.
headed back to London and got ready to go to the Shard. heading to the shard tonight. I just have on a black jumpsuit and I have to head over now. And the shard is a building in London which has restaurants, bars, and an observation deck to see the city. Though the observation deck is quite expensive but if you go to one of the bars you can make an experience out of it and you get it for free but still you have to get a drink. But you get a drink with it which is great. <laughs> We went to a bar slash restaurant called Oblik and we each got a drink. The view from the bar was incredible and it was a pretty cool night. here thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a like and to subscribe and follow me on instagram bye